Hi, I'm Andrew Hasty. I wrote The Anachronist, uh, first book in the Infinity Engine series, and I thought it'd be really good um, to talk to you today about what it's about, because um, it's really boring reading a load of text, and uh, I always think it's easier if you can hear it from the man who wrote it. Maybe that would help. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so The Anachronist is about a guy, a 17-year-old boy called Josh, who's pretty much been on the wrong side of the tracks. Uh, he's done a lot of things that he shouldn't have done, stealing cars, amongst other things, breaking into people's back gardens, into their houses and stealing things. And he's pretty much doing it because his mum's not very well and he, they don't earn a lot of money. Uh, and he'd rather do something else, but he's kind of fallen into that way of doing things. So anyway, one day he breaks into uh, the wrong guy's house. And that guy is the colonel. Uh, colonels are crazy eccentric. We all know them. There's kind of guys around everybody's neighborhood that um, hoards things, has lots of stuff just kind of like piled in his front garden um, and, you know, basically never locks his front door. And this is the place that, um, that Josh breaks into. And while he's in there, he kind of comes across these really crazy um, artifacts, memorabilia, stuff from like... Um, you know, from the Second World War uh, and and like even older things like pirate stuff. And he basically rummages around and while he's um, looking for something that he can just quickly steal and run away with, he um, gets disturbed and he runs out the back door with this medal. Uh, and the next thing he knows, he's actually back in the Second World War uh, in Hitler's bunker. And he does something that affects the end of the Second World War. And that's really how the whole story kind of begins. Uh, how Josh learns that there's this um, organization, secret kind of society called um, the Oblivion Order. Uh, and their job or part of their mission, if you like, is to, is to change the past to kind of make the future work better. Um, so their job is to make uh, history kind of the best it could be so that we've got the best hope of, uh, of of a good future uh, and there are a whole bunch of different people that um are involved in that the the oblivion order is a is set up to uh, as a number of guilds um so you've got the scriptorians these are the guys that kind of work on the on the textbooks and like gathering knowledge they go back in time and find um past histories and forgotten books and they kind of keep them in this giant library um that's just vast it's huge it's the biggest library you've ever seen um, so alongside them, you've got the antiquarians and they, the guys that go back and collect historical objects. So they are the guys that work on um, collecting art and, and like treasure. And they keep that in a, in a big old vault, um, mostly hidden around underneath existing museums. A lot of antiquarians work in, in museums. And so they're kind of like um, the curators, if you like, of the past. And then you've got a really, really cool bunch of guys called Draconians. And Draconians um, basically go out into the forgotten parts of the past. So they will go looking for, um, you know, missing, um, missing cities, old places that, you know, have been completely forgotten, wiped off the map. Uh, and so they spend a lot of time exploring. They're the kind of navigators. They drill back into the, into the past and find new paths um, through history. So they're really cool. And they're kind of a bit more like adventurers and explorers. Um, so we really like those guys. Um, and there's a couple of others. I don't want to go into too much because obviously I don't want to spoil the book. But yeah, there's this whole secret world that um, Josh enters. Um, and as he goes through, he learns lots of new things. He meets some really cool people. He kind of falls in love a bit with um, a girl called Caitlin, who, uh, who's also um, one of the kind of m major characters in it, which I don't really want to talk about too much because I just don't want to give away too much. Um, but yeah, so he's, he's has this kind of experience. Um, but what's happening in his normal life, if you like, in the life before... Um, he met the uh, the colonel is dragging him back. So he his gang life, his his mum who's really quite ill with um, MS with multiple sclerosis, and she's she's basically um, holding him holding him in the kind of in the normal world if you like. And he basically has to keep coming back. There's lots of really um, really really kind of what's the word 
difficult stuff that he has to deal with uh, and a lot of it goes back into his childhood when he was um, when he was younger and he got into some really bad things so there's a really nice thing it's like a duality you've got this wonderful kind of crazy magical slightly Harry Potter world that he's he's kind of getting involved in and then you've got this kind of really gritty normal kind of gang life thing that he has to try and resolve so anyway um, it's available now on Amazon uh, it's only 99 cents or pence um, so please go and, uh, go and buy it thank you bye